this is a review of the cruise line I went on called the Holiday Cruise Line. It's a pretty, pretty nice cruise that I went on and uh, then start by watching some uh, of the pictures and video that we have. Let's start off with, yeah, some pictures. Okay. So, this is two for one drink. Oh, this is, uh, I'm sorry, this is actually at the bar before I went drinking. So they had a rave party on top of the cruise ship and started at 11 p.m. It was pretty cool. They were hanging out with glow sticks and, you know, pretty much headbands and uh, they were charging people for glow in the dark glasses. This is the view pretty much from the buffet area that we're eating inside. That's pretty much uh, Palms Beach, Florida. Over here is another picture of what I saw, which is outside. It's another picture of pretty much the uh, docking bay where, where I came from. So that building over there, walk through there into the ship, deck three. This is some of the food that you can see, the desserts. This is the pretty much the lunch buffet that we had when we came on board. We, were, we boarded around noon. So this food was all hot and ready for us, which is, I thought, was very nice of the ship. Even though it was a small, tiny ship, I'm going to say that right now, it's uh, smaller than most cruise ships that, that I heard of. Not by experience, but by what people who've gone on other cruises, like the Norwegian Cruise Line or the Carnival, told me it's a little smaller. So... That's pretty much the fried chicken to the left. It was really, really good. Fish. I don't like fish, so I didn't eat the fish. The beef. That's pretty much the beef, beef pot roast. I thought it was really good. Beef. I think it's called uh, beef boating. Bo boring. I can't say that. This, the beef pot roast pretty good. I didn't eat any of the corn, so don't ask me about the corn. Some more desserts. Jello. I ate some of the jello. Pretty good jello. I'm satisfied. The uh, the other two, uh, the the cupcake and the uh, the other one, I didn't try it, but I did try some of that key lime pie. Not bad. Bread. You know what? I didn't eat any bread, so why would I want to fill this fill my belly with bread? Because there's so many other good things to eat. Salad. I didn't eat any salad either. I guess I should eat more vegetables. But come on, I'm on a cruise. I'm here to relax. So no veggies for me. Then, this is the outside of the ship, as you can see, it's got a lot of really nice uh, views from the top or the bottom, and that's the pool, I didn't see anyone at the pool my entire trip uh, onto the Bahamas and back, because they have a hot tub, which this is not showing you, but they have some relaxing couches to view the scene. And people are taking pictures, like that one girl right there. She's taking pictures. This is the view from the deck on top of the sea. There's the two hot tubs, and this is Palm Beach, Florida still. Some more benches to relax as you view. I guess if you want to view the ship while you're heading towards the Bahamas. Some more nice views. And... Looks like we're next to a containment area where people like to uh, pretty much ship stuff, I guess. Now this is the Admiral Club. This is the fine dining area. I think I had to pay a little extra. I think somewhere, somewhere like $17 per person to eat here. I said, hey, the food is all covered. Why am I going to pay to eat there? But if you like to eat fine dining, this is probably for you. Looks very beautiful. Looks all organized and nicely prepared. Very good. Alright, this is what I had for dinner. The prime rib, medium rib, perfectly made. Look how beautifully it is cut and it's medium rare throughout. It was very delicious. I couldn't have been happier with any other kind of prime rib. It's Perfect, just the way it was right there. 
I can't tell you how much uh, I kind of liked it. Like the two women that are sitting next to me, was, which happened to be a very, a very attractive girl. Her name was like Morgan. She didn't want to flip back with me, but she was quite attractive. And But her grandmother was very playful, which was pretty cool. She liked, the grandmother liked me, but the girl, she did not. She was going to be, the only thing I remember about her is that she had a white dress, and she wanted to become a, a health manager. So she was, she pretty much health office manager, which is pretty cool. This is the dessert I had. I had all three. Yes, all three were mine. So I kind of wondered, you know, why do I only have to have one dessert? Can I have all three? That bottom one right there is the apple, uh, apple turnover or something. Apple something. I forgot it was. The top was a sugarless cheesecake. And the one that's uh, chocolatey is the chocolate mousse. I got all three. And i got to say the cheesecake was probably my least favorite and the chocolate was pretty good. I like how chocolate it was. So it was as good as any other chocolate. Probably not the best, but I liked it. And the apple, the apple uh, dessert was good. This is the Bahamas. So it took us uh, probably we uh, we got on board the ship at six and we left the port around six p.m. and I woke up somewhere around 7 a.m. and we were there. So I think like probably around less than 12 hours, 12-ish, 12 hours to get from Florida to the Bahamas by ship. Look how beautiful the Bahamas is. This is just very, very pretty. So when we got there, I paid for the all-inclusive. So I got the Bahama Mama, and that's a sirloin steak burger. All was inclusive, so it was all included, and all I did was tip uh, the waitress, which her name was Cindy. She was very attentive. Every time you tip her, she'll keep bringing you a Bahama Mama when you're, you know, dry or thirsty. Oh, uh, that's me. That's me sailing. I don't know if you can see me, but that's me right there. I love sailing. It's the uh, first time sailing. Thank you to uh, Arrington Eric, the guy who taught me. He was a pretty awesome teacher. He was very irritated with me, how it took me a long time to learn, but eventually I did learn to sail, and man, was it fun. And this is the first night in the Bahamas. We had a barbecue, thanks to this chef and this chef who kept cooking. Look how awesome it is. Oh, look at They had a salad bar. They keep making fun of the salad bar. Why are you going to try salad? In the Bahamas, we can try everything else. Pea soup and dumplings. This is how it looks like. It's pretty much very filling. It's just pretty much a filler type food. The conch salad. My friend told me I ate all, like freaking at least half of it. But it was so good. The conch is probably my top favorite selfish uh, now. I moved it above oyster. I really liked it. Uh... I definitely would like to have more conch salad or anything with conch in it. It's really good. Look how beautiful we made it is. I probably had like six to eight of these cups. There's the uh, dumpling. There's the conch salad. The white stuff is the conch. Pretty good. Conch fritters, which is also pretty good. Then this is the jerk chicken and the jerk... Some jerk pork chops. Really good. Uh, not as good as the conch salad, but I like it. And I ordered two drinks at once. And if you can guess correctly, yes, it is a Bahama Mama and a pina colada. Then in the morning, when I woke up, I went gambling that night, but I didn't win or lose. So I didn't take any pictures of the casino. Sorry about that. It skipped over to breakfast where I had... Uh, egg white omelet. I asked for everything on it, and it had everything on it. And I also had two eggs over well, perfectly cooked. Thank you to the chef. And this is the next day. This is, uh, these are some people, the Bahama dancers, which are pretty cool. This is my favorite restaurant. 
over there at the Bahamas. It was called Eries. Eries. If you can go to Eries in Grand Bahamas Island, you'll be quite satisfied. You can have the the what you call it. I recommend trying the Bahama Mama and whatever drink you want, you'll be satisfied. So I ordered the Bahama Honk Chowder and I ordered a I ordered two, I remember I ordered yeah the roasted scallops. Both of them were really good. I liked it. The roasted scallops were pretty good. And also ordered the the New York strip loin as for medium rare. I was quite satisfied. Bread, I didn't eat any of this bread, so I can't judge it. Because why am I gonna eat bread? Oh, and, uh, these are the scallops. They were really tiny and small. They they're small as as a fish. It's dime size. Dime size to quarter size. But they tasted like crab. Like Dungeness crab. They were really good. I liked it. This is the conch chowder. It was really good. I liked it more than conch salad from last night. And I'm going to say the conch the conch chowder is really, really there to for you to enjoy. And if you can you must order it. This is a crab cake. Uh, I didn't order it. My, my friend ordered it. Tried it. Not a big fan. It was okay. Okay at best. It's more like a filler. More conk powder. This is the piece that I tried from the uh, crab cake. Uh, I can go without it. This is all three of the appetizers I tried. Here's the uh, mango slush alcohol. I don't remember what it was called, but I ordered it in a Bahama. No, wait, a strawberry daiquiri. And that's a Kalik beer made in Bahamas. Some more pictures. Uh, I never tried the beer, but I heard it was a good. The beer of the Bahamas. This is the place I ate at. It's pretty nice. I liked it. And here is my New York steak loin, the $20 value one. It was cooked perfectly. I must say, it was the perfect medium rare. Like, man, I, these people know how to cook their steaks here. Uh, that's a fish fillet of some sort. My friend ordered it. I never eat fish, so I don't know how to judge that. And, oh, yeah, I saw someone order this. It was the crack honk. After I ate my steak, I was like, can I get whatever she's having because it looks so good. It was the crack conch and it was delicious. I liked it a lot that I ordered some to go and they happily obliged. And this is the uh, peppers around the world. I think it was pretty cool. This is dessert. Pretty much Oreo cookies or cookies and cream and vanilla ice and there's a little cookie on top with a blackberry. Liked it a lot. And I liked it so much that they charged gratuity, and I left a twenty dollars on top of gratuity because it was that good. Yeah, I liked it a lot, and left a twenty dollar bill tip. This is me and my friend. This is how happy I was. Oh man, the when the uh, sun, I'm not sun. I'm sorry, the moon rose between the two palms. It was such a beautiful sight that I had to take pictures. This is the last morning before I had to go back on the ship. It was so beautiful. So when I wish I could go sailing right there. Oh, the beautiful Bahamas. So how pretty it looks. I went shopping right before I left. I went to the, course, the flea market of the Bahamas. They have all this stuff on there and yeah, the Superman too. I didn't see that till now. Cool. <clears throat> so what I did was I went around and I started bargaining people and see if they can give me some Hawaiian shirts. So I was uh, pretty much bargaining with them. Like first I was doing like fifty dollars for three, no, so fifty dollars for five. No one would do that. So fifty dollars for four. Came down to fifty dollars for three, and then I bought three Hawaiian shirts. There's all people waiting. There's the ship. This is my friend next to the ship. This is the ship again. This is me taking a picture of him at the ship. 
And this is me. I I love this shit. It's pretty cool. Very nice. I'm sorry, I got a phone call. I don't know who it is. It's my friend. I'll probably, I'll probably talk to him later. After my finish my review. This is pretty cool ship. Yeah, look how look how happy I am. I'm very happy from the Bahamas. This is the picture of Bahamas Island. Looks pretty beautiful from the ship. Pretty cool. I like the Bahamas. This is me in the Bahamas. I keep taking pictures of my fingers. Okay. This is the Bahamas again. They have a barbecue pit here. Man, I think I fell asleep when they were barbecuing. This is, I think they had some games where they threw some corn or something. Yeah. Picture of the pool on top of the deck. Picture of other, like, yachts. Ah, Ballerera Caribbean. Very cool. Bahamas is very beautiful. I think that's the uh, power plant where they powered entire, uh, I think it's they power the Bahamas, the Grand Bahamas with those. Or... They're silos for something. Or oil. Petroleum. Very pretty. Uh, I think that was very pretty here too. Look how pretty the water looks. It's pretty cool. You can see like the blue and then you see a light blue. It's probably more shallow water. Oh, I liked it. And uh, some more videos of more. Oh yeah, they had a buffet when we got into Pretty cool. I like, oh, this is some pretty good. I like this uh, mango dish. I like the pudding over here, too. More. Oh, this is the turkey. Oh, the server was so awesome. I asked for a wing. He gave me two wings. He gave me literally both the wings of the turkey. They were so good. And I loved it. Everyone asked me where I get the turkey. I got from over here. They were so good. And here's the food, turkey. This is what they had. I think I had some beef and some veggies. They were pretty good too. I had a lot of dessert. I had pretty much crack conked in the morning, so that's why I'm like, conk. I had some already. I'm not as hungry for lunch. Didn't eat any bread either. They had, so this is the um, dinner we had. So I had some dumplings. It was really good. Also had this other thing, which I think it was some kind of ham of some sort. So I ordered two appetizers. They were both pretty good. That's a date in the back, and some... I'm gonna go with some honeydew melon. And right in between the appetizers, I had to go out because we were leaving the port at around six-ish, like always, right during dinner. How beautiful the Bahamas is while we're leaving. And I had some Bahama chowder. There was no conk in it. The chowder's nowhere near as good as the one I had at the Aries. Uh, this is the salad. I had, I ordered some ginger dressing. It was really good. I liked it. And I had some steak. Perfectly cooked, medium rare. Not as good as the Bahama. New York steak loin, but it's uh, pretty good. And also had the beef Wellington. It, uh, I didn't like it. Didn't taste as good. Flavor was uh, probably flavorless. It was uh, all I taste was a little bit of savoriness. Other than that, I like the steak better, and I could go without it. Yeah, steak. Ooh, I also ordered all the desserts again this is the seven layer cake i know it's eight one two three four five six seven eight but they call it the seven layer cake got it with some little ice cream i think this is like mint flavor syrup also got the casserole it was rolled up pretty nice like it with a mango ice cream and this is the i forgot what this was but it was pretty good with the strawberry ice cream and this is the video of the sunset. Cool sunset, huh? Oh, the sun is about to set. It's so pretty. I'll take a picture of the boat. 
people waiting around. This is how far we are from the Bahamas. During sunset. Pretty cool. Look, a rainbow. This is me. Pretty happy. A very happy man. Oh, the sunrise again. The sun setting. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Like there was a bunch of people coming around, hovering around where I was going because I was watching the sunset. This is me. This is me on the boat. This is me with the boat. This is me. This is a video of people doing, you know, doing performance. This guy circus away. He's pretty good. This guy is crazy. Still look at those two rollers. They easily fall at any time. This guy, pretty sure he fell a couple times in his life. Man, he's crazy. And this is pretty much the last picture I'm gonna show you. This is where I ate, you know, on the airplane. Other than that, pretty cool. Hope you enjoy the video.